up guys welcome to vlogmas day 14. i'm vlogging on my phone because i brought my camera with me but then when i turned it on to record it said i didn't have a memory card in it so phone it is today um i actually just got done with my client for today got a little coffee we just did a little content to kind of get ahead before the holidays so got a little coffee this little bitch was seven dollars and 77 cents And unfortunately, that is why I'm a Starbucks girl, because that's crazy. Um, but I got a lavender vanilla oat milk latte. And it is delicious, I will say. Is that Rebecca? I thought that was another one of my clients. But anyways, I'm going to Target now because I have to get shoes for the holiday party that we have tomorrow because... As I think I told you guys, it's an all white party and I have no white shoes. Um, so I think I'm going to get like bedazzly ones. I don't know if I'm necessarily going to go for white, but all I have is black and like purple and pink and it just doesn't look right. So that's where we're going right now. Okay, I want to get these, but I'm not seeing my size. So they have the one below and above. So I'm going to try them. So we're gonna go with those. Okay, that was easy. Oh my God, it looks so like pretty in here, the sun setting. So I got my shoes, easy. These are actually the ones I wanted when I looked online today, but I was just gonna see what else they had. Getting Sabrina Carpenter and I'm really liking it. I had some just like this that weren't rhinestone, but they were just like silver metallic and Maggie chewed them up. So now we have a replacement. Thank God. And then I got a couple other things. I actually have been wanting for a while some sweater tights. They're like cable knit white tights. I actually just saved an outfit on Pinterest today with these. So I just grabbed them when I saw them in my size. My Target never has tights in my size. They get wiped out really fast. I also want, I wanted to get a pair of op uh, sheer white tights. I ordered some on Amazon, but I already poked a hole in them with my nail trying them on but I don't think it's noticeable so it's fine that they didn't have them and then I have been in my long sleeve era I'm wearing a black long sleeve today so I had to get a white one so I have black white and red which in my opinion are all of the neutrals because red to me is a neutral I'm in my red era red era see so yeah, I'm gonna go home now I'm not sure what Brad and I are gonna have for dinner. He's probably gonna eat a rotisserie chicken, so I should actually probably get something for myself. I just wanna go home though. Um, what do I want? What do I want to eat? I don't know, but I finished Britney Spears's book and now I'm on a Julia Fox's. That woman has lived. I thought Britney Spears's was crazy. No, not to like, we don't need to compare two people, but Julia Fox is the most fascinating person to ever walk this planet. And like, she's come from a very, very dark past. Like I did not realize. So it's really nice. I mean, it's not nice to read, but like, it's very eye opening to read about her story. I highly suggest reading her book if you have not. Even more than I suggest reading Britney's and I loved Britney's. You should read both, but Julia's is like, crazy and she's the most she's such a talented writer crazy talented so anyways what do I want to eat this angle gives me a little bit of a little bit of a double chin but it's okay this is usually my angle no I'm getting self-conscious there's people I am gonna be 
Brad and I ordered sweet green, so I'm just gonna go pick it up real quick. This guy is so pretty. Okay, I'm home. It's honestly so much more convenient to vlog on my phone, but I got my sweet green. I'll show you what I got. Like I can just prop this up so easily. Um, I get a harvest bowl and I add a crispy rice and it's the best. Any bowl you just should add crispy rice to. Yum. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Brad and I are gonna watch a Christmas movie and eat. Brad and I, like this. Yeah, that's cute. We're looking at wall sconces for in here because it's just so dark. That is our only light over there, but we like want to eat on the couch and watch TV, but it just seems like depressing and dreary over here. So we're going to get some sconces to put like on either side of the TV. So that's what we're doing right now. Like Let me see. Yes, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Yeah, I really like those. Do we want them? I kind of want them turned up though, not down. Oh. You know? Actually, I don't know. Turn down is better. Okay. I think, well, I don't know. Okay. Okay, guys, I just took a shower and I'm gonna do my skincare really quickly. My skincare at night is so simple. My skincare all the time is so simple, but um, especially at night. So I used my Paul's Choice Gentle Cleanser, and then I have this um, retinol face oil from Tata Harper, and I've been using this since June. I got it in PR, which I was like, dang. I was so happy when I got this. Um, but it's really, I feel like, made a difference in my skin and it doesn't irritate me it's like a pretty gentle retinol so i put that on first even though it's an oil it's like pretty thin so that's why i do that first and then i literally just do moisturizer um and i'm using the paula's choice um skin recovery replenishing moisturizer and it's like pretty thick but I still wake up with my face dry in the winter I'm just like a dry girl so I use a pretty generous amount oh it feels so good down the neck oh my scalp is dry oh I hope I don't have dandruff for the party tomorrow. Okay, that feels so good. And then I'm just gonna put like a little bit of an oil on top of that too, just cause I've been waking up so freaking dry. Um, so this is another Tata Harper oil and this is called the Super Kind Bio Shield Face Oil. And I don't use this one very often. You can see I got these at the same time. And the retinol one I use like every single night. And this one I just use if I need a little extra hydration, just because like I would use it during the day. Sometimes I do when I'm not wearing makeup, but it just doesn't really sit super well under makeup just because it's an oil. So I'm just gonna lather her right on. I love Tata Harper. It's just like, oh, it feels so good. It smells like tea, like luxury tea. It smells so good. Brad thinks it stinks, but I'm obsessed with the smell. He's always like, oh, your face stuff. Every time I try to kiss him, good night. So I'm like, fine, get away from me then. Oh, okay. Love it, gotta hydrate. But not too much. I always have to pee in the middle of the night no matter what. Like, just inevitable. Okay, and then I put on just a little deodorant. <laughs> every night before bed so I don't wake up smelling gross. 
And this is my favorite deodorant. It is toxic deodorant and I don't really care. This is the secret weightless dry in the water lily smell is so good. I have Nora using this too. It's just so good and it really works. So yeah, I'm gonna brush my teeth really quick. Oh, I'm gonna put on a little eye cream too. Just cause my dark circles are really popping lately. This is the Versed Vacation Eyes. I've had this forever, it's probably expired, but we're gonna just give her a go anyways. Pinkies. Oh, it's so good. It just feels so cooling. Pretty sure this is like a morning one because it has caffeine in it, but it just feels really good. Okay, brush my teeth. I just got this toothbrush in PR randomly and it died like on the first day. And I don't know like where the charger is or anything. So I'm just using it as a normal toothbrush. And whatever. Sweet green was so good. I love the Harvest Bowl. And then Brad and I watched um, Four Christmases and then he is, likes Barstool. So there was like a game or reality show thing tonight. So he watched the finale of that and I sat and online shopped and I got this fur coat. Oh my God, hold on. Let me wrap my teeth real quick. I got this fur coat. I've been looking for a fur coat forever. And I'm so picky. I don't want like, first of all, I don't want real fur unless it was like vintage, but it still just like gives me the creeps. I know that it's ethically, some people say it's ethically fine to buy vintage furs. You just shouldn't obviously buy ones that are being produced currently, but the vintage ones are already like out in the world. That's the mindset behind that. So I wasn't like opposed to finding a vintage one, but it's still like just touching it freaks me out. So I was like, no, like I, I know myself, I'm not gonna feel good like wearing that. So I've been looking for a faux, like fox fur looking, like I don't want it to be shaggy. I don't want it to be long. I want it to be like the perfect taupey grayish cream. I didn't want like brown or anything. Like I was looking for the perfect color and fur can look really cheap, like faux fur can look cheap. So I, it needed to look expensive. It needed to be the right length. I wanted it to hit just right here and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I've just been like scouring. I literally messaged like a Korean brand that I found and I was like, would you ship to me? Um, I've been like on the hunt and couldn't find anything under like $500 and I wanted to spend a hundred or less and then today I was like oh, let me just google one more time like please let me find a fur coat and randomly this Poshmark listing is the first thing in the google search which is so random for like online shopping and it is the most perfect faux fur coat I've ever seen for $89 this girl only wore it one time and I stalked her and she looks like so cute clean like good it came from a good home and I found it in my in my size I wanted and it's so crazy because that girl wasn't even my size she was a little smaller but she bought the coat in my size for me to sell or for for me and she was selling it so I'm just like I manifested that for sure like that's crazy so I'm so excited I hope she I didn't even offer I just hit buy now on Poshmark you can offer but I was just like, by now, so my card has been charged. So hopefully she has like 24 hours to like accept the order and get it processing and everything. But I'm like, please, because this coat is like meant for me. It's so perfect. So yeah, that's my little spiel for the evening. Um, I only have a couple chapters left of Julia Fox's book, but I've also started reading Icebreakers. And guys, it's kind of dumb. Like... I can't really get into it, but I think I want to, I don't know, like, no, I'm not going to read that actually. No, I'm going to listen to Julia's book. I also changed our linens and I had a candle going in here. So now it just smells so good and like 
everything is just perfect. There is literally nothing like fresh bedding. It is just, uh, you just feel so clean like getting in bed and like you just sleep so much better with fresh sheets and even better a fresh duvet. And tomorrow is gonna be a really fun vlog because I'm gonna be getting ready for the holiday party. You guys will see my outfit, how I do my hair, all that stuff, like any last minute errands I need to run. I think I might have to go out and get different tights because the hole in my white tights is bigger than I thought. So yeah, I'm going for like Sabrina Carpenter vibes for my outfit. So I'm really excited. Um, but yeah, I'll take you guys along for like bits of the party tomorrow too. So So yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.